good evening YouTube family it's Heather the Malachite lady I realized after doing two videos that I hadn't actually introduced myself so I'm so sorry about that um, if you haven't re read the titles of the videos I am gardening in zone 7a in Northeast Tennessee so we live here in God's country it's lovely as you can see from the beautiful green behind me um, one of these days, I'll take you out to the front of the house and show you the view from our front porch because um, it's it's a lovely valley. But welcome back to the garden, and today is May the 11th, so we'll do our tour. It's been about a week, so you can see what's going on in the garden. So, come along. Okay, I'm not going to start with the strawberries today because they haven't really changed a whole lot since last week. But my goodness, y'all, look at these potatoes. Just look at them. I know I showed you last week that some of them had been damaged by the frost, and I told you that it was okay because frost, you know, potatoes are planted before your last frost date, typically. So I figured they would come back, and my goodness, have they not. I mean, look at this, y'all. I think we are going to enjoy a lovely harvest of potatoes. That is just my guess here. And just to remind you, I have harvest, uh, blue gold, Kennebec. So these are blue gold. Then these two rows are Kennebec. These two rows right here are Yukon gold. And then these last two are red Pontiac. So, I think those, I think the Yukon Gold is winning out, y'all. What do you think? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think I'm going to get the biggest harvest of. It's a little early in the season, but we'll start the bedding pool now. All right. And here we are again. These onions. I probably need to come out here and trim them up a little bit. They're getting a little bendy ovary and yes that is a word i just made it up myself but they're looking good probably come out and you know snag some of these tops for green onions but they're looking good let's see how long i go in this in this tour without saying it's very exciting because apparently i say that a lot we'll see and Carrots, 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 carrots. My carrots didn't do real great last year, so I am very interested to see how they do this year. Still haven't replaced the peppers yet. That is coming. And then, I'm not exactly sure what this little guy is, but up he comes. I haven't weeded yet either, as you can tell. Um, but the beets are looking amazing. And then the peas are starting to climb the, the trellis. I did get my cucamelons in. Um, they're basically from that pink flag over, um, but they're not up yet. They've only been in about, mm, about a week. So they haven't quite germinated yet, but I think they might be peeking up a little bit. So stay tuned, come back next week, and hopefully we'll see some. And I think that marigold has survived, which is good. These onions are also doing amazing. I think we're gonna have a good onion crop, y'all, which will be good, because we really like onions here. <clears throat> And this red sails lettuce, oh my goodness, it's looking so good. So my other lettuce isn't coming in quite yet, but it's getting there. Still early days. I'd have to look at my notes and see exactly when I planted the lettuce, but you know, it's not been in that long, so we'll have a salad before too long. <clears throat> Let's go back here. I don't know. These are my where my cucumbers are. I can't really tell if we've gotten any coming up yet. 
or not. Doesn't look like yet, but again, I planted those the same night I did the cucumelons, so they're not quite ready yet. <clears throat> they have not peeked up their little heads. But they're getting there. Patience, thy name is Gardener. Okay, so the newest addition to the garden are these bamboo trellises. You can see they're about six feet tall, except for that really tall one, which is about eight feet tall. Um, I'm being optimistic about my tomato chances. Indeterminates will just keep growing and growing and growing if you give them good fertile soil. So, but you can also see I've gotten some cardboard down. I need to weed a little bit around the beds, but I do have my cardboard down. So now I just need to get the mulch to put down on top of that. And this was my Mother's Day present, even though my children have four feet in fur. Um, the husband always gets me something, you know, for Mother's Day for the cats. But it's a solar lantern. Um, I'll try to get a video of it, you know, in the dark with it lit up because it's pretty cool. Very cute. And the scarlet runner beans are off and running. See what I did there? So they're about to start climbing, I think, which is neat. I've never grown pole beans up a pole or trellis or anything like that. So it will be really interesting to see this arch trellis just laden with fruit um, as we go along the season. And I hope you come back and join me so you can see it too. And across here are the Kentucky Wonder Pole Beans. They're getting big too. And I did get all the rest of my drip uh, tubing in. So that is a blessing. Many, many thanks to the mother-in-law for uh, giving me that for my birthday last year. Because it will save so much time and energy with the watering to not have to do it. I've got a timer. I'm like uptown, y'all. Then my radishes, and it is definitely time to put in a second succession of radishes. So I will have to do that this week as I get time. And here's a little bit closer look at the trellis. Looks like uneven parallel bars a little bit. But I just did this bamboo that one of my co-workers brought me um he's got a stand of it so he cut me a bunch and i just did square lashing you know not real real neat but thank you to my degree in youtube engineering uh for being able to do that and then i just have you know tomato twine <clears throat> down to the base of the tomatoes and then i'll be uh pruning them single stem so they have enough room in the beds. Um, in between the tomatoes in this area here, I'm gonna be putting in some flowers and some herbs and things like that. So that'll be pretty, pretty cool. And then looks like we might, maybe, possibly, am getting my spaghetti squash. We'll hope that's a spaghetti squash and not a weed. We'll see. And then the zucchini, they haven't really done a whole lot since we were here the last time. But, and then the other tomatoes. Again, these are, these are just the string trellis method. Um, there's so many different ways to trellis tomatoes that are, they go from super, super simple like this to Florida weave, um, d don't buy the cages, y'all. Don't buy the cages. They will not support the weight of an indeterminate tomato. Maybe a determinate tomato, maybe not, but indeterminates, they get too laden with fruit. You definitely want 
more than just those little cages. The cages are good for these peppers, so they might get some support from those. I've got a few, um, especially the banana peppers, they won't get real, real big, but I am very excited to show you this jalapeno. It um, has lots of new growth on it, so I do think it has survived the frost, which is very good. I was really nervous about that, I think I said. But the rest of the peppers look good. Um, we will see about these cantaloupe transplants. As I've mentioned before, I've not had real, real good luck with cantaloupe, but we'll see. So you'll see. I'm not counting anything out. And then over here, I don't think I've got anything coming up yet. Um, acorn and win um, butternut squashes are planted along the trellis and they'll go up it. And then I finally have one tomato that is tall enough that it has its first little tomato clip. These are really nifty. They grab hold of the twine and hope you know they don't slide up and down so that is pretty nifty and then the onions are also doing really well again i got drip tube in this all of my beds now have drip tube in them so that is good apologize for the crunch 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 of the cardboard here. I had to move the, the pollinator pot down onto the cardboard to kind of weigh it down a little bit because it was trying to blow into my neighbor's yard. I'm sure they would have just been thrilled with that. But there we stand. May the 11th, 2021. Come back out here just so you can see it in all its glory. All the green that's coming up. And I do thank you all for joining me today. Um, hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned a little something. And if there's anything that you'd like to see a, a you know video in more detail on, just hit me up in the comments. Um, mostly this channel started out as a place for me to be able to share my <laughs> garden tours with my friends and family. But you know, I'll branch out a little bit if there's interest. Um, into gardening or other pr creative pursuits. Um, as the bard Jonathan Larson said, the opposite of war isn't peace, it's creation. And so go out and do something creative today. Until next time, we'll see you then.